Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve a question that was asked in the front-end developer interview round of Amazon. Um, Amazon hired the front-end engineer as well um, and they offer like 22 to 25 LPA for fresher and uh, like um, in the front-end developer interview so the basic uh, interview process is they have a first round of DSA uh, where they ask a medium hard level of uh, lead code and then they have a uh, two rounds of like a front-end engineer and we are going to solve one of the questions that was asked in that interview. So in this question you can see we have our two icons, we have our two buttons like and unlike and we have some spinner and heart icon. So let's read the question first. So we have to create a like button with the changing state. So we ha it have a multiple states and let's read the expected output. So uh, at default our button will be look like this and when we click and when we hover on that button so its state change to hover and it should look like this and when we click on that button it should send an API and that API will uh, give us 50% uh, success ratio that means if I send this API if I hit this API it will give me like like or unlike result and depending of uh, if it is like that means uh, we have the success ratio then we will make it to like and if it is uh, give a uh, error response in that case we will not change the um, its state and one more thing when we uh, just hit the API then in that case until we get the uh, response it should be in the loading state so we have the um, loading state hover state like state and from likes to unlike state so this five can be the UI so we have to build that and you can read out about uh, this in more detail I have written everything in the like point wise so let's get started and uh, just you can also pause this video and try to solve it by yourself as well. So, so first of all, let's press Ctrl B so that we can have uh, another space. Now, what I am gonna do is I will press Enter, and now um, we have this uh, heart icon and this spinner icon. So, first thing what we have to do, we know um, that we have a single button, and for that single button, what are the different states of this component? So the very first will be like liked and unliked and second will be like is our API is like we got the result or not that we can say like pending and um, not pending state. So I will create two um, state that is first is liked and set liked. Let me explain you uh, use state and I will initialize it with like false. So initially you can see uh, that is not liked and first of all I have to import use state from react now what I will do I need one more um, state that is if pending now um, you can understand that we don't need a two button we need a single button and depending on the condition that button will look like in their different state so let's remove one button and let me just add the condition so first condition will be if pending so if it is pending then we will see the spinner icon so we will see the spinner icon otherwise we will see the heart icon otherwise we will see the heart icon similarly um, similarly if um, if it is liked then we will see like otherwise we will see liked so say if liked is true in that case we will see like otherwise we will see liked so yeah so this is we can use the single button and let's remove it so as you can see for now we have a, a spinner like like this now what we can do here is um, let's go to task and see so we have to hit the API but before that um, we have to do this so let's do one thing um, let's do one thing first of all let's give some styling to this button so let me give some styling let's go to style.css and here I will write dot like btn and here I will give it um, display flex and then I will give it um, align item center and justify content center and first of all I have to link it here so let me just give this a class name class name will be like btn and you see it's look good and now i can give it um some padding so padding will be six pixel and the eight pixel 
and I will give some gap between the um, icon and the text. So gap will be let's say eight pixel, and then I have to give the border radius. So border radius um, that will be um, twenty pixel or let's say thirty pixel. It's look good. Then I have to give some border as well, and border will be two pixel solid. And you know by default uh, we have given the color as well. So by default its color will be gray, and that gray color is given as um, here. Hashtag eight 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 eight. So we will use this. So hashtag eight eight eight. And this is the border. And let me see. So color is also color will be also gray. So I think this look good. Um, anything that I can improve it. So this look good. Border radius is good. Okay. And then we will have a two state. One is the hover state, and second is the um the active state. So let's say the hover state. So if I goes to like button and if I hover it, hover it. So how it should look like on hovering, um, our border and the text become um red. So let's go here and make color is equals to ff um as zero zero, and the border color also become f zero zero. So let's see. Uh, we have achieved first state or not? Yeah, we have achieved the first state. And second thing we should do is cursor should be pointer. So you see, this is the first state that we have to do. Um, let's go to the expected output. The first state is like, and second is this, and we have achieved this. And one more thing that I have to do is in the styling is make this font weight bold. So now I think it's look good. I have to write one more class here, um, like BTN active. So when it will be active, then what we have to do? We have to make its color um, white. We have to make its color white, and we have to make the background color red. Background color will be red, and border color will also red. Border color will also red, and also uh, this will be condition at the hover as well. Okay, so. Like BTN active hover. So in both case, um, it should be like this. So let let me go to my app and uh, let's create the function. So I will say on click, on click. What you have to do is um, let's create um like unlike function, like unlike action. So go here, create cons, like unlike action. And here I will create the function. So let me for for just shake off or like so how it look like uh, without calling the API. Let me just first of all set is pending to um, not is pending. Okay, not is pending. So you can see um, if I hover it, it's become the hover state. Okay, and if I click it, um, then it's become the loading. And once the response come back from the API, it will uh, return back to heart icon. And the light, okay. So let's go there. So let's create the. Um, let's uh, use the API. So we will say try and catch block. So we will use try and catch block. Um, if there is some error, so that will be handled in the catch block. So first of all, what we will do um, when we click on the icon, when we click on this button, then it should goes to where it should make my is pending true. And then what I will do? I will create. Um, I will call the API. So I will say const response is equal to await fetch. And here I have to write the URL. So let me find the URL from here. This is my URL. Let's copy it and go here. Just paste it. And this will be a post method. So this will be a post method. And one more thing, if you don't know about async await, so you have to watch uh, like you can watch my GitHub wrapper video in in that I have explained about the async programming in detail. So here you can see I have I missed the async. I will write async await. Now this is the um, post method, so I have to write method is equal to post. Then we have to provide the header, so I will provide headers and. I just have to provide only single header for now. Um, that will be content type, and content type will be our JSON. So we have to write application slash JSON, and now we have to uh, send the um, body as well. So he, you can see here, 
um, submission API. This is the method. This is the content type and the parameter. So this is the body. So in the body, we have to send the action and uh, that action will be a string of either like or unlike depending on the desired action. Okay. So if wa we want to like the video, so we will send the like otherwise unlike. Okay. So here I will go and say body and here I have to send the string. So I will say JSON dot stringify in that I will send the object that have the key action and that will have the value. Um, the value will be depend on like. So if it is like in that case, I have to send the like. Otherwise I have to send um, unlike something like this. So let me just confirm it like and unlike. Yeah, like and unlike. Okay, so it's working fine. So now um, once it is done, then what I have to do is I have to go here and uh, let me handle it the error first. So I will say if response dot okay is false. If this is false, if this is false, if we get the error in that case, what we have to do if we get the error in that case, we will not update our state. Okay. So we will not update our state. We will just return it. Okay. Otherwise, what we will do, we will update our state to what it was, uh, a reverse of what it was. Okay. So this is how it will be. And, uh, I think, yeah. And for now, I think we don't have anything to write in, in the catch statement. So what I can do, I can use a finally. So what the finally work is, um, it doesn't matter you have the error or not. Um, it, this finally block will, um, run every single time. Okay. So here I will say set is pending is equals to false. So I will reset my loading state to unload state. So let's see, um, what we have to do. Let me just reload it. So for now, if you see, this is the like, and this is the default state. This is the hover state. If I click on it, it will say it will become this. You see, if I click on this, it will become this. So right now this is the false. So it doesn't, it doesn't update it. And one more thing I have to add some classes here. So let me add a few classes so that you can find it. Um, like button, like BTN, this will be every single time. And if it is, if the video is liked, if the video is liked, then add one more class, which is like BTN active. So let's see how it's work. And one more thing, if it is like, in that case, it should be liked. And I have to revert this condition. Okay. I hope you are able to understand this. Um, basically, let me just um, check it once and I will explain you. So right now, this is the default state. This is the hover state. If I click on it, um, you see it's render, uh, it's load and now it is like the state on the like state. If I click on it, if I hover on it, it will become the same. So that's the styling that I have given on the active on the hover in the both case, our styling will be same. And if I again click it on it, it is hovering like, and you see it doesn't change to like why? Because uh, this is the 50% case. It will not update like, like dislike will not happen every single time. Okay. So you are handling it right. You see, now it's become like, unlike, I hope you are able to understand this thing. The one problem that I can see is I can click it multiple times. You can see I'm clicking it multiple times and this will render the API call multiple times with the same parameter. So what we can do is we can avoid the multiple API calling, um, here, what we can do, um, I can say disabled, disabled if um, if pending, what this is pending, if I click on it, the API will be rendered in that case, um, this is pending will become true. So if if pending is true, this button will become disabled. So let's see if I click on it, it's pending. Okay. So let me just click it multiple times very quickly. So if I click again, click, 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 you can see, um, it will not re render the loading us. Uh, it does not re render. Okay. So I hope you are able to solve this problem. This was uh, like, I would say a medium level problem. The interviewer wants to check, are you able to like use this patch properly or not? You know, they can ask what is patch. 
what is a sink a bit so you can answer uh, what is a sink a bit they can test uh, are you able to um, handle this api calling are you able to handle all the test cases or not so this is a very good question for um, judging the um, developer so i hope um, you are able to solve this and you like this video and if you want to like check this template you can use it uh, check it from the description and if you want to watch more such videos don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button